Hello, hello everyone. How are you doing, guys? Today, a little Alabama game. Uh, against this, you can see a Pobeda. Uh, so we got a Sturdy over there. A few cruises and all. It's all pretty decent. Um, this game, though, um, I stream a lot of... Uh, or stream. Yeah, I do stream as well. <laughs> a lot of submarine games, but I do like the other ships as well. I do like to counter submarines as much as I like to play them. And this one, well, you'll see. <laughs> you shall see. It's pretty awesome. Anyways, I'm playing in my first game of the day, this morning. And uh, we're having here the Alabama, which is already a pretty good anti-submarine ship, since it has good anti-air. I know this sounds weird. It has good anti-air, but if you build for the commander points for anti-air, that also gives you better anti-submarine sub anti warfare mechanics. So, if you build for anti-air, which I like to do in Alabama, you can do better anti-submarine warfare. And Alabama has a gimmick where it has very, very good torpedo protection. So if you lean into that, while submarines only have torpedo armaments, Carriers usually want to use their torpedo armaments against you as well, so you can build against both in Alabama. And Alabama's uh, anti-submarine warfare is just good, just 10 km range. Nothing spectacular there, but it's just good enough to work. So um, I'm going to show you a little bit of uh, what we can do. Here I've used my anti-submarine warfare to get rid of that fighter over there. I'm trying to aim. Uh, let's see if I can slow down a bit. I can't. I try to aim for uh, the middle of this, uh, this circle here. So that the plane has the most time to actually lock on and fly away. And we sometimes, sometimes we get it done and sometimes we don't. It is a bit of a hit and miss mechanic. But you can get rid of your of the enemy's uh, planes while using a, a simple uh, armament. Which does not run out for something that does run out. So pretty good to use if you don't have anything to bomb. I just do it one at a time, so if one fails, the other one can go. Because you can only lock onto one set of planes anyway. So it's a nice mechanic. Not too many people use that, though. So uh, start using it. It's good. It, it has saved me quite a few times. Now, we are anti-air spec. Not completely. Our captain is not uh, level 14 yet. So we can't go for the high level anti-air yet. But we have a decent amount of AA. And we're going to use it here. So I do love to sit on this particular spot in a cruise or battleships because then can shoot over this island and shoot on what's ever behind there. But as you can see right now, the alpha cap is being capped here. We see no one in the cap here. We know that enemy DD is on the other side of the map, so it must be the submarine. The only submarine could be in the cap right now. Hobart is not red, not red in there. So we know submarine is in there. And we all know where, where DDs like to sit for their... Um, for the capping focus, right? So I had a hunch that we find a uh, submarine right there. And while we keep shooting and launching and destroying planes. We got a hit. We found him. <laughs> he was never spotted and we still found him. So we just got a hit on him. A normal hit on him. DCP because we do not see any oil slicks. Or he's, no, well, he's on the surface. We wouldn't see an oil slick. But uh, yeah, DCP is running since, um, as you can see to the top right there, there is no uh, number going up there. So no flooding happening. So if we hit him here again, which we do, means a permanent flood here. Oh yeah. He's gonna love us. Now, we only hit a um, area hit on the last one. We didn't get a bomb hit. Only um, splash damage and therefore set them, set them flooding. Is it called setting, set someone to set someone on a flood? I don't know. I know it's to set someone on fire, but I'm not sure if it's been flowing the same thing. Anyways, um, second one didn't hit, so it seems like the enemy sub is either retreating out of here or is moving up. Whichever it is, I don't know. Oh, Massa is not that, uh, not that really good angle for me. That's 8k again. So I shot, uh, quickly put one down there for if it was running away. Just to see if it was going around the other corner. I mean, spot here in Massachusetts. So nothing else that would say this sub is coming closer. And there's no one on the other side to see me either. We know where enemy DD is. And uh, somebody's probably over here. So. Nuremberg. Ooh, if we get a good broadside on that guy, that would be awesome. 
Not yet though. And planes are coming for us, which is just pure food for us. Uh, killing planes and ships with low HP are the best ways to get most um, credits, XP and everything in the game. So uh, you want to you, you do that. And of course, since we're Alabama, we do take damage. But 6k damage for 4 torpedo hits, that's nothing. <laughs> that's absolutely nothing. Not even a flood. Now I keep dropping bombs. Because I want to make sure it doesn't come too close to me. He might be going forward. So I want to keep dropping those. Until I see actually where he is. I want to keep dropping those things. So that, that's a lot of planes. Look at all the planes. <laughs> it's an air show over. Absolute air show. Hobart is the new, I believe the tier 9. Ship of the new uh, pan-European line. Pretty squishy, but very good DPM. So we, I have to be careful of that thing. And since we see no one in the cab anymore, I do want to move away from here. So I can actually have some, some place to maneuver. Because you do not want to be stationary when a submarine finds you. Because then you will get hit by everything. But if you kite slowly away, you can manipulate where torpedoes go. Oh, that Nuremberg. That looks juicy. Uh, angle is not perfect, but maybe. Just a little bit of a uh, hit. The plane's coming again. I, I, I will feel your planes every day, mate. Come here. Give them to me. Planes are food. That's one. Can we get two? There's two. Can we get three? Can we get three? That's three. And I don't know what he was torping, but not. Yeah. <laughs> he just gave up. He lost me. Oh, hello there. We, have a, we found a friend. Good. So he did move ahead. We're using the mechanic here. No worries. You can see where he's, where he's going towards. We're using the mechanic to aim. He's not on the surface, so I'm not being spotted by anything. And those torpedoes, by simple slowing down and turning out a bit, it's fine. We got another flood on him. Look at the number top right. Top right stopped, so therefore he's no longer flooding. He uses TCP. And he pinged me again. That's a mistake, my friend. That is a mistake. Also, hello. <laughs> there goes number. So got another ping on the front. It means I want to go forward, so the torpedoes go forward, and then I want to slow down again, so they go past my nose. Being pinked on the nose is not so bad. Also, there goes the submarine. Submarine destroyed. And torpedoes will never hit me. Aha! <laughs> he hasn't been able to do anything against me. Yes, this is how you counter submarines. Uh, Hobart. Oh, I'd love to get him here. Look how low he is. But Alabama's dispersion is, well, at least with my build. Uh, yeah, <laughs> not that great. <laughs> not that great. So, submarine destroyed, or submarine is down as well. They lost five ships or two, so doing pretty good. Points-wise, we're ahead. Not too bad. And in the eastern part of the map, this is Key versus Bismarck. I don't know about their HP, and there goes another ship. I don't know about their HP. Oh, never mind. Bismarck just got destroyed. His HP must be zero. <laughs> so, that's that, that part of the map has been dealt with. So, now, uh, Wange... Andrea and McKenzie are coming this way to support us. And the enemy team is just in a complete pincer move. She's the enemy team is just stuck. They're stuck. They might need help from Step Row. Let's see if we can help move out with a Step Row maneuver. Would be cool. Would be cool to get four kills. I would like that. 19k. Come on. Ah, not this one. Not this one. He did turn out. Um, torpedoes. Those must be Nuevos, right? Or Zetans. Ah, it could be Zetans. They're really slow. I think they're Zetans. Don't think Nuevo has this range. If he has torpedoes. I can't recall. I think she does. But I think it's 8 km or something. Yeah, Nuevo Julio is Italian. Yes, she could have. Well, there's Mr. Zetan over there. I, I am hungry for my fourth kill here. Hungry. And Massa going to fight or McKenson and Andrea Doria. Beta spotted. I'm at the moment still focusing Zetan since he's in our flank. But not spotted. Oh wait, there he is. There he is. Good. Yes. 
Yeah, I, I always like to go for the ships in the flank, so you cannot be crossfired. As if you clear all the flanks, that there's only ships on one side of your, sh uh, of your ship, then there's no crossfires on you. So I always try to clear the flanks if I can. And it also works very good for spotting, because yeah, sometimes you just want to go dark. And then you know they're all by the island in front of you instead of one is to the right, and you have to hide from that one as well. So clear your flanks, it's good for you. Now Zidane and Futo are far away. Pubeda is nice and low. I think someone will get her. Mackensen is on, on her own. The team got kind of uh, deleted on that side. And she is half HP over there. You can see the corner. So we do have to be a bit careful. Although I don't think they can win against us anymore. But I don't want to throw away my ship. So Pubeda, I think he's about to die here. Any volley should kill her here. So I won't even aim for her. I think I'll go for Massa here. Because she is kind of healthy. We need to stop that. Massa just fired on our McKenson. McKenson still lives, but he's really, really low. Five K, not too much. I mean, angle wasn't perfect, but. Carrier is gone. Check. McKenson is, is bleeding out by just the sheer amount of firepower on the secondaries for Massa. There goes Massa again. The next volley. Let's go. Um, I do want to angle in a bit further here because um, I can get Citadel by Massa pretty easily. Well, not easily. This It has the low Citadel. It's the same so low Citadel, but... Ooh, Hobart getting wrecked here. I hope he has a smoke left, because if he doesn't, then that's the end of Hobart. As far as I know, Hobart can't bounce at all on any angle against the Massa. Yep, there she goes. I'm not sure about that. I, I know the armor is not great on Hobart and the, the whole line. They are heavy cruisers only in guns. The rest is all very, very light. So I'm not sure if she can even uh, angle. Ooh, hello there. Hello. So we're gonna get yeah. It's it, it. Rain is coming, guys. Rain is coming. Master secondary is going off. He is healing though. He is healing. Not aiming for me to main guns though. He's going for a down, I think. Ooh, not the uh, best kind of dispersion. Not the stuff I want to see at eight kilometers, but it is what it is. I want to go for the superstructure here. I might want to change into HE here. Sink the angle. It's easy reversing, so the angle gets worse. And I expected a kill here. And I do get the kill. I do get the kill. Nice. I, I know there was a volley in there that I was expecting the kill on, which didn't result in it. But that was the, vol the volley prior, apparently. Uh, someone just smashed his face into the keyboard. <laughs> I have no clue what that means. <laughs> I have no clue what that means. Uh, Zeton. Ah, Zeton torpedoes. I'd love to get a crack in here. But I didn't notice that I still had HE loaded. So, yeah. <laughs> there goes my Kraken. <laughs> it could have been, but then I yeah, had the wrong ammo type. And Shukaku gets the kill? I think so, right? Unless our fire will take it. Nope. No, Shukaku gets it. And then there's only the Fuso left. The final target, and he's just he's just booking it. He's just going away, full speed running. And I'm tempting to use HE again here because the angle on him is really bad. And I doubt we can pen. And I'm not sure if, if we can pen this turn of a Fuso. And that's the last remnant of Zetan again. Oh, the dispersion! <laughs> the dispersion was like, yep, nope. Let's not hit this guy. She shot. He is turning, so I'm 
I'm using AP for the next full in. Hopefully he turns in, but then the timer says no. We have won. We have won. With a pretty good result. And the early game where we just destroyed that submarine without even knowing where he was. Just by estimating and guessing where most people would be. Uh, we got to kill him without him doing, as far as I know, any damage. Except for getting the cap. Which we later on got ourselves. So, um, yeah. Pretty good game. I enjoyed it a lot. I hope you like this kind of commentary. Uh, let me know in the uh, in the comments down there if you want more of these uh, voiceover videos. And, um, well, if you see some positive results, I will, uh, I will need more, of course. So, thank you very much for watching. Hope you liked it. Like, comment, subscribe, press all the buttons. And uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.